Then it was the vote of God. Yeah, and then James, in his speech, said, I hope you enjoy my new single, Falling. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> but he also said, hi to my family and fans. Mm. What fans? You say hi to your fans, that's a bit embarrassing. Yeah, embarrassing. Um, and then Chuck, I don't know what he said, but I just felt sorry for Chuck. He was like a lamb to the slaughter, wasn't he? Bless Chuck him. said, I'll help anyone who votes for me stay as long as they can. <laughs> I hope you guys vote for me. I hope you vote for me. No wonder Meta was confused. <laughs> he said, I hope you vote for me. Julie should really say who you voted to evict, shouldn't she? But the thing was... But Meta started talking as soon as he got in there. Meta was doing... He did do a topaz because he was doing a message to his family rather than thinking about the vote. Did Topaz do a message, message to her family during no, the No, but Topaz was flirting with Alec, uh, and that's why she got confused. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> they were, like, go, like flirting with each other, and like, she got confused. Um, so, Brandy voted to evict Chuck, and she was crying. I haven't got everyone who voted yeah, to evict. Yeah, why was she? I don't know. Maybe she's a meds Probably kitchen. just drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only Omarosa voted to evict James, and I thought, oh, fuck, she's going to be a massive target now. And Omarosa and Keisha were shocked when the vote was revealed. Pretends to be shocked? Or... Yeah. <laughs> no, they did actually look shocked. Do you think Chuck looked shocked or... No. Just like whatever, was not it? lets it wash over him, doesn't he? Do you feel sorry for him, though, when he left a bit? No, not really. And I watched I'm it... not going to miss him. And no, me either. But I watched it after dark before he went and he was kind of just lolloping about, like, trying to talk to people. No one was interested. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. He's just like a big old lug, wasn't he? Big old lummox. <laughs> He was like a more likeable Dylan. Yeah. Poor Chuck. Oh, well, to be honest, yeah. He's not really a mastermind that we've lost all the strategic... I think he's the right one to go. Yeah, because James, even though James is a dick, he's a kind of a good character, isn't he? He's a bit Paulish in a way. Yeah. I see, I see ref- reflections of Paul in him. Yeah. He's like... He's like... He called himself your boy. I noticed that he's so vain and arrogant that he's just oh I don't know he's annoying but I, he's on the right side of annoying like I love to hate him mm. I'm not just like oh get out I'm like mm. okay I hate you but I'll hate on you but if he wins it I'll be annoyed well he won't win it um Omarosa run, ran to the front door mm. and she handed Chuck something what was it do you know what it was I don't know what it was key to the White House <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go and take Trump out <laughs> Do it for America. <laughs> I don't know. What did she give Chuck? I don't know, like a little note or some sort. Mm. I'm sure they can't write in there. I've seen writing on the, writing on the wall. I what? Saw... Get your celebrity home maps here. <laughs> I've seen that. Someone was in their bed. What? <laughs> Get your celebrity home maps What's here. What's that? <laughs> in that bedroom which has got like red buses. Oh yeah. And I had to ask BB Team North about that. I was like, mm. is that London bedroom mm. or what? Because the bed covers say like Rodeo Drive and shit like that. But there's but red like buses. Buses, yeah. And he's like, no, they use like red buses like that for like celebrity tours where you go around the homes uh, in LA. Okay. Oh, they use red buses for that, do they? Apparently. Interesting. I did not know that. Hmm. He did tell me something else about that, that he, he misunderstood it to be something else. I need to find out what it was. Oh. I'm um, have a look at that now. Uh, hold on. So now we are on, on post eviction stuff. Lost my phone. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. I think I've spoken to him too much about this. There's a big brother now. I can't find out what he said about that bedroom. Never mind. I'm sure it was very entertaining. <laughs> so, yeah, well, Team North, just tweet us if you can think. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, the post eviction episode began with uh, Keisha and Omarosa very unhappy that. Chuck had Wait, gone. have you got any insight from Chuck's interview? No. <laughs> have you? Um, I've got something that he said. Go on. Oh, just lost my place in my notes. Uh, he said... Oh, he said, I guess I wasn't as good as <laughs> at social game as James was. <laughs> mm. And then there was talk about his avocado facials and press-on nails. Press-on nails, apparently. Mm. Oh, yeah, Chuck that now gets to go to the jury. He's there automatically no jury. jury. There's no jury, though. He is. There's no jury. Well, it's a Ke- public vote. Keisha. Well, no, there is a jury, they but there's no jury, jury house. house. Oh, home. okay. So they're still going to vote. Yeah. Okay. But they get to go and watch it. Okay. So that will influence people's decisions, won't it? Oh, yeah. And then Omarosa's message revealed that someone had flipped the vote. Oh. Oh, yeah, because she didn't know, did she? Yeah. 
Whereas everyone else was quite sincere. Like Ross was saying he was sad that he had to vote against Chuck. Mm. Um, Judy asked about a side deal with Keisha. Oh, yeah. He, didn't he say no? He said the only deal was he wouldn't put her up if she saved him in a tie break. Oh, what, if the vote was split? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you added that. That really added a lot to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> thing is, I can't remember what I wrote down. It could have been gold. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can't remember it? Can't you read it? Oh, you I can't... can't remember what I wrote down. By right. Do you know how many episodes of this I watched yesterday? Uh, yeah, true. Well, these Four two... of them. The next two episodes I only watched yesterday, so these should be fresher in my mind. So I've got James was trying to be like Chill Town in the diary room. Listeners will know what that is. That's familiar to me, but I don't know Yeah, it's Dr. Will and Boogie. And he was going, oh, something about Trump, something about Omarosa and Trump. It's like, bitch, when Omarosa went in there and she went, oh, yeah, I was working for Trump. I was on Celebrity Apprentice with Trump. He didn't even know who the fuck she was. And now he's making jokes about Trump, so shut up. Oh, was he? Yeah, sit down, you little bitch. Yeah, because he went, who did you apprentice for to her? Do you remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Little idiot. Yeah, because I remember saying, obviously, it's going to be Trump. The only other person is Martha Stewart. Mm. <laughs> Isn't she a criminal? She's a criminal. Yeah, she is, yeah. So Omarosa said, the true game starts here. <laughs> that is how she talks. Actually. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> um, Shannon started freaking out. Um, Marissa went to try and hug Omarosa, and Omarosa was like, not right Don't now. Don't play me, and yeah. then come and hug me. Yeah, I like that. Marissa didn't take it very well, no, then, she? This is why I didn't like Marissa, because she went to the others. She went, Omarosa just yelled at me. It's like, Omarosa did not yell at you. She just went, don't oh, hug me. Yeah, yeah, she went, she yelled at me. She and I was like, yell, was settle down. Yell. She did not yell. That's when I started to go off Marissa, because I thought, that's not true. Mm. I, I didn't like that. And, and just Marissa, I'm finding her a bit... Mm, she's a bit extra. Ross, I'm also finding a bit annoying. I do still like Theatrical. them. Just like, like they're believing their own hype a bit too much for my liking. Playing up the characters in the diary room? Or... Yeah, just a bit much. Bit too flamboyant for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a final four deal now mm. between Ross, James, mm. Shannon and Marissa. And James does actually seem quite true to that, which is weird. Because I thought James would just kind of be agreeing with anything just to stay. But he did seem like he actually... But what else has he got when true. he's been the biggest target? True. Um, so then Shannon was shitting herself going, oh, let's all go and talk to Omarosa as a group. And then Omar- uh, yeah, Omarosa, Omarosa was like, like no, no, I want to talk to you separately. Yeah. And you know why. Yeah, that is quite... Shall we? Th- that is good game and play there. Because everyone else will be thinking, mm, what the fuck why? Is going on? Yeah. Um, and then... Um, I watched the lo- the full version of this on the live feed. Okay. I watched about half an hour of this conversation. Mm-hmm. Which is very interesting. Um, so Omarosa goes, oh, I'm ready to blow up everyone's game. And then Shannon was going, oh, we did this, we did that. And Omarosa's going, who's the we? <laughs> Omarosa's always noticing whether it's we or I or whatever, isn't she? Didn't she say the rest of the alliance? Yeah. And uh, Omarosa goes, Marissa and Brandy aren't coming up with strategy. To say that would be laughable. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Brandy is, though, but not actually to Shannon. And then she, um, Omarosa goes to Shannon, right now you're looking like the horrible bitchy chick. Which she knows she doesn't want to. Yeah. And then that's interesting. on the live feed, she was going, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, she said it here, too. When you get out, you'll regret it. When you see it, you'll regret it. She said, when I get on the live feed, she goes, when I meet your husband, Simon... Um, she said he's gonna look at you and say, "Oh, you really made the wrong decision here." Like, imagine saying that, like bringing your husband, like your husband is gonna say that like, you made the wrong decision. Like, she was just like she. Was the wrong prob- decision was not using the veto. Uh, evicting, evicting Ch- Chuck and not Jane and not uh-huh. James, but just everything. I was, you can tell Shannon was so like on the hop. Do you know what I mean? And Shannon was just like because it's getting under the skin. Yeah. Says. Yeah, it was so good. I'll, I've got some other notes on that, but they're in a different place. But I'll, I'll tell you the other bits later. But Shannon was going, "Oh no, I don't think I am the horrible bitchy chick." And I'm just like, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I just like the way just I'm just ran that whole conversation, and Shannon was just she was fucked. Totally she? <laughs> remind me of um, the snake in the Jungle Book. Oh yeah, like wrapped around <laughs> Mowgli, like under the spell. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon was that little Mowgli. 
Um, so then Shannon comes out to the others and had to come clean to them that she had a secret deal with Omarosa. And the others were all like, ooh. Do you remember that? Yeah, I've got that written down. I yeah. don't actually remember the reaction. Yeah, because the others were all like, when Shannon went, they were all just like, oh my God. <laughs> they were like, she is playing everyone. Oh yeah, and then Ross went, she's brilliant. She's brilliant. Yeah, I was in. Yeah, she's playing all Meaning of us. Shannon. Shannon. But what he didn't really mean she's brilliant. He meant... She's like too yeah, good. she's Trixie. Um, Shannon has been coming across a bit like Paul from last year. Like, she's trying to control every single little thing. But the trouble is, these people actually have minds of their own, don't they? But I don't think she's, like, as aware of how deep she's going. Whereas Paul was more aware. I guess. I feel like she's involuntarily going deep. Yeah. Uh, so here's the black people talking bit that I was talking about, where Meta, Omarosa and Keisha are in the gym. Have you got something before that? Mm, no, carry on. So Omarosa was complaining that women can't stick together in the game. Yeah. And then she says something about back doors and Meta went, what's the back door? Oh yeah, but that's what he knows because I think I could, I could yeah, explain it I, to him. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then Meta goes, oh yeah, I voted for Chuck to stay. <laughs> Uh, that's when he realises that he did it the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. And then it was hashtag regret our world peace. That's, that's quite good, actually. I, it was quite funny. We'd use that as a title. We would, but, but it's a bit clunky. <laughs> he was too busy sending a message home to his wife. Um, and then they were talking, yeah, they were talking about how we, and they didn't explicitly say us black people got to stick together, but that was the, that was the implied conversation okay. yeah i didn't get that from this yeah. at all because i've just written about him doing the topaz and realizing yeah done it wrong no that was the uh that was the insinuation like they're coming for us basically which they are mm. um although i don't think it is a racial thing no i don't think so. no but omarosa did say ah i think that was on the live feed omarosa said to shannon something about you come in for you come in for the black girl and Shannon went, oh, it's not about that. It's not about that at all. But I like the fact Omarosa just dropped that in as well. It was good. Because I don't think it is about that at all. But I like the fact Omarosa's using that as well. <laughs> I don't either. But does it sort of become about it when you make an alliance called Black Girl Magic? Well, that's the thing. I think Omarosa is more about noticing the race thing. than yeah. well, Obviously, she's going to be more about noticing it than mm. the bloody white people. <laughs> um, but... I just sort of, I think it's interesting the way she is bringing that as part of her gameplay. Mm. As uh, the f- Twitter idiots would say, oh, she's playing the race, race card. card. She is playing. I don't think she has. Though. She's playing it, but she's playing it. She's playing it well. <laughs> she's playing it, but she's playing it subtle, and I like it. So I think it. She's not overplaying it. She's not saying, oh, you know, everyone's being racist. She's just. No. She's just. Ma- m- it's making kind of it known that it's naturally happening yeah, that way and it may happening. be an element and it might not be an intentional thing but it could be an unintentional thing it could mm. be an unconscious thing you don't know um, so Omarosa then was saying that she really wanted to win HOH to protect her and Keisha yes and Meta by default or? yes although Meta wants to go home so yeah, no point is that <laughs> he's got 20 places more to kiss his wife um, <laughs> <laughs> those two twos are back next Ah, Bowl Arena. Celebrity Bowl Arena. Have you seen this one before? Yeah, they did it yeah. last year. That's where yeah, Mark, got, Mark got his tutu from. I've done it for a few years. To be honest with you, so somebody was like, oh yeah, I know this task. I think it was Shannon, Shannon or something. Yeah. Getting excited about it. Yeah. I thought like, okay, I'm not really excited to watch it a second time around. So mm. how many times is everyone else watching this? Yeah, I, it's been at least four times. Yeah. Do you still find it as fun as the first time? No. I thought it was quite boring it's, this time. It, it's fun. Well, it was interesting at the start, but it wasn't that wasn't really to do with Bowl Arena. That was to do with Shannon going to everyone. Oh, basically, keep, yeah. keep targeting Emma Rosa. Yeah. And she's like, what are you saying? She's like, oh, you know what the... That, you know what the strategy is in this one, right? So I thought, in a way, it's a bit unfair for them to have this task... This... Not task. This competition now, when it's one where you can keep picking the same person. So when there is a small alliance... The big alliance can pick on that same. So, say Omarosa mm, had won this. Very easily, yeah, right? Yeah, they could keep. Omarosa might have had to play every single person. So, I think it's a bit unfair to have that that competition when it's not an evenly matched alliances. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's an extra thing against Omarosa and Keisha, because Keisha can't even bloody play. Um, 
So for then Shannon to go, oh, you know what the strategy is, right? Let's keep picking Owen Rice. And then Owen Rice is just standing behind her, like, what? Yeah, and also uh-huh. called her out on it, and Shannon smiled at her. Yeah, I love the way Owen Rice just says it. She mm. just says it. But Shannon can't really say anything, because that's exactly... 